I... I don't know how it happened. It, it just did. In phase two. And I wish I was recording that. Can you believe that? I like how the reward for completing this page is uh, seven Messel pouches, though. Yeah, because after fighting all of these high-level monsters, that's such a low catch rate. That's what I want at the end of my monster collection. <laughs> seven Messel pouches. Hello, everybody. Am I here? And welcome back to another episode of Road to Max Damage. Uh, today, I am on my Evan. And I am currently doing the Golux pre-quests uh, for this character. Uh, so, there is a 5, 10, 15 Star Force event that is coming at the end of February. So I thought I would like to hopefully be able to farm up enough backups for booms on my uh, the rest of my Golux gear that I want to 22 star. So this would be my superior ring, my uh, reinforced ring, and my superior earring. So those are the three main ones I want to get. So as I have been extremely overprepared for my Terminus Defender, as well as my uh, Meister rings and everything else that I've done, uh, I will do the exact same fashion where I will farm, hopefully, eight backups but i only have a month and i know uh to get all the items from the shop is gonna take like a week or two completely with uh helix carries so i'm hoping uh oh i think i finished it already whoops <laughs> so yeah i'm hoping to be able to just you know take care of these things uh no problem uh there's a high probability that I won't be able to farm eight copies within the month, but that's going to be my goal nonetheless. Uh, my roster for this time is going to be all my level 3 link skill mules that I've trained up to, so that it's going to be my Evan, my two demons, my Mercedes, um, soon to be my Angelic Buster, uh, my Beast Tamer as well. Uh, so that, that gives six at the moment. So I'm thinking I'm going to... Uh, do a couple of other characters that are pretty decent at bossing so i'm thinking maybe my shade and maybe my uh wild hunter since those are funded relatively better than my other mules so what has been going on uh not really much uh, i have said that i am trying to uh play a little bit less so that i can focus on some other things well i keep saying that but i know like with events and upcoming content and all that stuff uh, around the corner. It's more important for me at the moment to take advantage of those uh, events and stuff right now. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I'm missing my uh, Junior Reaper somewhere. I think it's on my Mercedes. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. So yeah, I am just gonna do my best and see uh, how much I can push without burning myself out. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going with this and just get past these pre-quests and get started with the Goluxing and all that. Finally done this one. This wasn't bad at all, actually. Uh, I think it took me about like 40 minutes or so to complete. The Kana definitely helps a whole bunch, especially at the tree killing part of the pre-quest <laughs> pretty much just slap kishin on like one side and then put down flames on the other side and that's pretty much it so golux accessible now for my evan and uh well i am going to need to farm all of this stuff and all of that. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, this is more effective than just getting a Helix carry. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and get set up some stuff and ask for some carries right away. 
Um, but yeah, I finished. That's one down. Seven more to go or so. <laughs> Fudge. I forgot to record. <laughs> Damn it. So, in order to get uh, pretty much the entire set of items from the shop, uh, we need a total of, well this is one third, three, sorry, dyslexia, uh, 310, 420, 470, so we would need 470 coins, so if we average about 30 coins a day, that's going to be about, well 15 would make 450, 16 would make 480 so we would need 16 days of farming and uh, the thing is happening on the 24th it's a good thing I did the math because I still have not done the pre-quests for any of my other meals all right I think you guys pretty much get the drill for uh, what I am going to be doing I'm starting another character here uh, for the Gullux pre-quests uh, and basically I'm just gonna keep doing this and farm all the accessories until I have a big stockpile for a whole bunch of Star Force thing. Uh, in the meantime though, while I do this, I actually went ahead and tried out some of the new bosses, mainly Gloom. Uh, I would much prefer it if it was still called Dusk or something along the lines of that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, actually, I went and tried the boss out with my friend, Victor, who's also in my hard boss party. And yeah, so we have a bit of footage from there, and we were just basically having fun and messing around with it, and I thought I would show it to you guys. So here's uh, us trying out gloom for the very first time all righty and i am ready all right we go oh what the fuck wow wow i didn't realize fuck there was gonna be falling pieces of shit I figured what's the problem. I figured what's the problem. I figured what's the problem. And? I, 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 fuck. What, what was your problem? I, I forgot to equip a potion. Ah, very nice. Save well, your burst shit. Now. I'm bursting. Oh, dodge all that. Oh, run. Ow. I'm on a knife frame. I am not, and that hurt my feelings. Eh, I mean, like, yeah, this is pretty clearable. What's the entry for this? I mean, one, one a day? I assume? I mean, if I... Suck. This doesn't feel bad at all. Like, I'm no. getting wrecked, but it's not like, oh no. And then... Uh, what? How do you die? I don't know. I'm dying a lot, so I'm definitely not probably going to clear. Yeah, uh, from what I assume. Oh, well, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, I stay alive? <laughs> How did I stay alive? Nice. Oh, oh, how did I die? I don't know. I don't like this I think I'm just stuff. dying because of the falling shit, yeah. Oh crap, I, 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 I'm getting like dragged around everywhere. I don't appreciate that. No, I still have three lives. How many do you have? One. <laughs> Damn. But I've been like living for the. Well, I just. Yeah, I just. Uh... What? Hello? I, I framed. Oh, wait, what? Where, where did all my buffs go? <laughs> so you wasted three minutes just buffing up, and now they're all gone. <laughs> No, no, I have, I have a battle lord. What the fuck did all my buffs go? How much did we do as two people? 
We did like... 25? Yeah, around a bit more than 25%. Yeah, and we already know what's to come, so... I mean, like, I immediately got super, super, super better once I got to my last life. So, if I just keep that up with uh, all five lives, that should... Honestly, yeah. Well, nothing to worry about. What do you get from Gloom again? Sparks? That's a... Yeah, th thanks for the spark shit. Yeah, like, n I'm not worried at all. Oh, well, thanks for the no fun. No problem. Whew. Doing this pre-quest eight times is going to kill me. I just know it. So, uh, I got, like, kind of a weird donation. I, I kind of, like, feel bad whenever people donate me out of, like, pity or something like that. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, someone generously gave me a uh, NX code. I was at work, though, when I got it, so I just came home, and uh, I'm going to redeem it. Uh... But basically, the premise of this is just, I'm not going to lie, I'm getting tired of your, hearing you complain about your shield, so take this code and fuck off. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, I, I try not to complain too much, but you know how RNG is sometimes. And the fact that, like, with my shield, I've hit, like, so many three-line, like, every other stat, and so close to getting that two-line boss, one-line attack... So, I, it, if it's frustrating to watch, just imagine what I'm feeling. The one that's actually trying to get the shield for himself. Uh, but I want to give a huge thank you for the code. I didn't expect it, but I'm just uh, going to redeem it right here. And uh, so, just copy and paste it. We're going to validate it. And uh, wow. Holy cow. Uh, well, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it very much. So I'm going to redeem this. Thank you so much. Uh, a while back uh, last month, I said that I was going to start running or doing dailies on my Kana mainly the fairy bros dailies and today if it's finally paying off after four whole days we are getting some flames now i just traded over that handkerchief that is basically my uh flaming project now uh for i don't know how to explain it Basically, like, I have, whenever I have a project of, like, some sort of, like, element, uh, say, cubing or flaming or whatever, I usually have one that's, like, personal, one that I can't really pass around between meals and my Kana and stuff, so, like, for example, like, perhaps, uh, my CRA or belt or anything for flaming, uh, but then I have also a subsequent or subs uh, another project on the side, for equips that I can pass around. So this is my pass around project slash thingamajig <laughs> uh, prod uh, on my handkerchief. And so we're going to be trying to go. Oh, gosh, darn it. Uh, we're going to be trying to get some really good lines on the handkerchief. And uh, the reason why I reacted that way was because uh, <laughs> I got 72 luck on it. So that's pretty decent. I don't know if I want to go around and uh, ask for trades and stuff because that's just like really time consuming and results in me needing to deal with a lot of people. Oh, by the way, I, I managed to get another week's worth of um, honor medals, 55 this week, so that is a pretty good chunk of money there. But yeah, this is, uh, my new flaming project. Just for the sake of this bit, I'm gonna use my two flames on, uh, the handkerchief, but my next personal flaming project is definitely gonna be, like, my hat, because I believe that is the weakest flame out of all of my, uh, current flames right now. But for now, because... 
Yeah, this is my current pocket item, just a simple two-line strength. I'm looking for something a little bit better for uh, a pocket item. Oof. All right, so I finally got enough Alliance medals. Uh, it's late. I've been on my computer all day. Not super healthy, but uh, yeah, between wanting to work on music and maple and other things, I mean, I can't really help it. I'm just always on the computer or sitting somewhere or whatever. I actually ha am a little bit worried because like, because I'm sitting all this time, my lower back's actually been pretty aching and um, my legs feel like absolute jello and my arms feel like vermicelli noodles. So I tried doing a bit of exercise today and I, I just gave out. <laughs> uh, it was not pleasant. Anywho, though, uh, oh man, I managed to get the enough coins to get all the arcane symbol boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and grab those. Uh, <laughs> oh man, this Lunar New Year event, eating up my inventory like nobody's business. Okay, I think that's everything I th hope. How many more do we got? Let's find out three more so one two three. Ooh, I don't think uh, I'm allowed to use it if ooh. let's just oh I can use this okay let's find out how much or how many how many yeah how many arcane symbols we will get from these ten boxes this time around all right here we go box one the standard two Box two, four, two, three, okay, low averages, I want to pull something really huge, it's a two, a four, a two again, a five, okay, a four, and a four, wow, that's pretty good actually. Uh... <laughs> what? Don't mind the Overwatch music that's going on in the background, but I was just doing dailies and I did not know that this was a drop by Acarium? <laughs> what? <laughs> I really should mute the Overwatch music, but oh my god, what? Okay, so I have enough reward points to get all the cubes uh, from the shop. Wondering if I should do it though. Uh, I think I have enough time, right? So we'll grab all of these guys. It's a shame I can't use the red cubes on the shield anymore, otherwise, I would have gotten more opportunities for it. But uh, the current shield is just way too good to pass up. So, whatever. Hold on to all of this. All right. It's always a weird feeling whenever I get these cubes. On one hand, it's like, yay, I'm gonna finally be able to get a chance to cube. And then on the other hand, it's like, ah, oh, this is the only time I'm gonna get a chance to cube. So it's, eh, it's a little bit weird. Uh, I do want to go somewhere though. Let's go. I'm feeling like Forest of Oblivion today. So, we'll stand right up on this right here. And uh, we'll start on my shield. Because I forgot to bring my other equips over. So, black cube and black cube only. Here we go. Uh, you see? This is exactly what I meant by this is a problem. So, we want to keep going. Three. Oh my god. Four. Last time. Five. Ah, nothing. Well, that's that. Kinda close, though. 
not like two line boss one line attack close close but three useful lines kind of close but not as good as my current potential close uh yeah this is why i got a black cube especially now since uh i'm consistently uh my entire party is consistently clearing these hard bosses i mean technically i guess i don't need the shield potential uh because we're doing so much damage but oh i'd rather not be the reason why we don't clear on certain days but I i'm pretty sure even if i did put away this potential on my shield uh we'll still be fine but uh it's just not a good feeling you know what i'm saying so we'll do the cape for now hello oh, there we go two three Five. Ah, <laughs> nothing good. So, a while ago, our hard boss party got a freaking dreamy belt. So our first boss accessory of all time. And we finally, after like two or three weeks of advertising and trying to sell it, we finally got it sold. I am really excited because the belt was paid in USD. And since I don't want to deal with any of that for the sake of uh, the series, I asked for one of my party members to take my cut and give me an NX code instead. And so we sold the belt for 275 and so when you divide that by six you get uh 45.83 uh usd so this code that i'm about to redeem is a 50k nx code and then this is what i am going to be paying uh my party member in mesos to cover the extra missing amount so we are going to go to here we are going to add the code it's gonna validate it 50k redeem my balance and just like that oh man so so this is the star rock in question we're gonna go buy it and there we go uh I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of stressing out right now. <laughs> uh, kind of. Uh, I'm pretty chill. I'm just getting that feeling of overwhelmedness again because of uh, Yuda's farm recently opening up. And inside the coin shop. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm currently doing. Yuda's farm. Uh, yeah, because the event just came out. I checked out the coin shop. There's tons of goodies and stuff. I made a quick shopping list and I tallied up all of the stuff I wanted. And let's just say the amount of coins that I need to get everything that I want is scary. <laughs> it's overwhelming, like I was saying earlier. But something cool to look at. I'm doing the stolen fruit quest in uh, Moras while collecting fruit for Yuda. So, ah, what a coincidence. I, yeah, th that's the only reason why I wanted to do this bit. Stress! Ooh. All right, it is time for some red cube action. And first things first. Pass this over to my Kana. Well, my phone continuously rings and interrupts my recording. All right, what is the Kana going to get? You know, it would be next level production to also record on my laptop, but I can't bring myself to transfer all the videos and all that. So you're gonna have to do uh, accept that I'm not basically going to show the Kana's perspective, unfortunately. But it's okay because the Kana didn't get anything good, as shown here. All right. So two of red cubes here. What are we gonna get? Two prime lines. Ooh. 
<sighs> I made a mistake. I did a double upload, right, guys? This was because I just recorded so much footage and so much stuff has happened in Maple that I wanted to just split it across two things. And usually how I organize my recordings is that I put them into folders into the appropriate episode. So if I'm recording for two episodes, if one thing is specifically for one episode, like for example, if one episode was a meso episode, I would record myself making meso, put that recording in that folder, and then that's that. Uh, but that's usually how I would do things. But because I was up, uh, recording two things at once, I may or may not have missed one crucial thing. And you must have been already scratching your head and wondering like what kind of BS was I trying to come up with because I, I sometimes worry about it because like whenever I record stuff uh, I'm like wait did I talk about this before is this suspicious because it's like wait I there, there's there, I, the thing is like I don't like recording 24 7 but I still need to play like a lot and sometimes I forget to record things or sometimes I f don't leave certain footage in and that's basically what happened i left out some footage if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the lucid belt i didn't even show the lucid belt even though i know i recorded a bit for it uh so i'm really sorry about it i was really excited in that clip too i remember it so well but i must have lost it in between moving the footage between editing the two episodes but i finally found a bit of proof uh for all it's worth ability Oh, this is going to be a bit weird. I'm going to mute myself so you don't have to hear double of me. No, no. Just pure mute. Thank you. So right here, on this flame. Oh, uh, sorry. Frame. <laughs> uh, you can see. I have an arcane dagger and a lucid belt in the storage right here at the top left corner. And that's the crazy thing. We got the belt and we got the dagger so that's where it is that's where that lucid belt came from it, this is the most proof that i can prove that it did exist in compensation and in excitement i am going to show you what my hard boss party got this week we got a second dagger <laughs> <laughs> and we got a fan as well. We've been trying to sell that for a whole while, but we have two daggers to sell now. <laughs> Paul is spoiling me again. He has two cubes for my Kate. Let's see if Paul will single-handedly finish cubing my own Kate for me. Because that'd be something really impressive and shocking to... Oh, right, 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 right. We gotta be in the same uh, chair here. I believe that's how uh, he got the three line B pot, too. LMAO. I'm afraid to look at it. Actually, so tilting. <laughs> oh man, that's a. Uh... That's double prime line too. Oof. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I was streaming today, and I decided to train my, my buccaneer a little bit. So I did the usual thing: transfer some stuff over to. Uh... Whoa! Never saw that before, actually. Uh, transferred my stuff over, went over to Kerning Square, or Kerning Tower, sorry. Started training, and then, uh, one viewer was like, Hey, why aren't you training at Amber Waves? And I was like, Huh, why aren't I training at Amber Waves? So I decided to, uh, give this a try. And, <laughs> this is so good. I, this is so good. Especially for a Buccaneer, but any class that has, like, this sort of attack range, where it's just all horizontal, so, like, uh, Cannoneers, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> Cannon ears. I, I honestly can't think about, like, another, uh... Sorry. I can't think of another class at the moment that uses a lot of horizontal mobbing. Uh... But yeah, I, this is so good and it's so fast and it's only 30 minutes at a time. So this is pretty good pacing for me to just uh, keep on uh, consistently training on this guy. So while the event's going on, uh, I definitely do want to use it as much as possible. Especially with maybe some of the characters that suck at mobbing that I have left. Uh, but yeah, this is really good. Thank you for very much for the suggestion. We're having a ton of fun. This is pretty much easy mode. And yeah. Uh, I don't want to forget about this because I'm probably going to get pretty hectic tomorrow. Just trying to d catch up on a bunch of stuff and trying to do a bunch of extra stuff. So I'd like to introduce uh, my new project off on the side here, which is going to be uh, reflaming my CRA stuff. Now, uh, yeah, I've decided I want three line flames. Obviously, if I want, if I get four line, that would be perfect. But I'm basically looking for a combination of flat strength, preferably high s flat strength, or just high strength throws in general. Uh, so three lines of flat strength or th two lines of flat strength and one line of all stat. That's going to be what I'm going for. So this is technically one line of uh, hybrid. No, sorry, this is a single stat and an all stat line, so this is the weakest of my CRAs. So we're going to go right ahead and start with this. That's alright, but I believe that is a 40 single stat and a 16 hybrid, so that's only two lines of strength. Let's reroll. Nothing good. Four all stat, for attack. Nope. And 64 and 4 attack with... Whoa! This is like a pseudo 4 line here. Oh, dang. I might have to double check and compare, but that's a... Uh, not bad for 4 flames. But anyways, you guys will get the idea. This is what I'm going to be doing for the next while. For any untradeable flames that I get on uh, my character. Any other flames that are untradeable and bound to a certain character or to my Kana, I am going to throw uh, onto my golden handkerchief right here. So this this is going to be fun for the next while for sure. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode. Unfortunately, I have an excess amount of extra recordings that I do want to put into the series. So I'm probably going to have to make a second episode, maybe like a smaller one, but that means there's going to be more Road to Max damage coming your way, and I already have the episode after that recorded because I thought this was going to be one episode, but instead I made two. So, hope you enjoyed watching this one. I will see you very shortly in the next one. Uh, thank you for watching again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!